Now, Brady, if I could ask your opinion on who is really behind this push for mandatory forced compulsory vaccinations. You've spoken to me about the fact that some police officers and some people in the medical fraternity are getting concerned about the real agenda here. Can you tell me who is behind this push and what they actually intend to achieve by going down this path or, as the case may be, forcing us down this path? Well, it's, it's, it's a heavy globalist agenda here. And so the um, hoax, if you ask me, of COVID-19 has got its fingers in most countries. And the agenda is, in this, is the same in all of these countries, coming from the same people with the same globalist outcome. They want to eliminate small business, eliminate the middle class altogether. So we'll be entering into sort of a slavery system, if you like. Um, AI plays heavily, so the Internet of Things um, and 5G plays in heavily into this, and it's run by basically um, a very small number of people who, I mean, when you talk about the people who run the world, a lot of people's eyes roll back or roll over and they can't understand that that's true. And it's not, it's not as simple as that. There's not a bunch of people sitting around pushing buttons and things happen or ringing the president of this country and telling them what to do. It's a far bigger game of chess than that. But in the same breath, it is basically that simple. And, and these are corporations, they're psychopathic corporations, whether they're far too rich individuals and as a society we let individuals get far too rich we've given far too much power to governments and there's no there's, the lines are blurred between all of these and we've given far too much power and and um and reach for corporations and now all of them have, now have the opportunity to meld into one and they have and so they're running as a corporation the corporation wants to eliminate the competition have total control of the market and when you've got psychopaths and power hungry, um, power, when you've got power hungry psychopaths at the helm of all of these, all competing with each other and all licking their lips at absolute control of other human beings, then you've got a massive, massive problem. And to do that, you need to have people shackled to your system. So, whoever owns, so it's, it's no secret that the, the the international economy is is run by very few people. World Monetary Fund, International Monetary Fund, World Banks, Reserve Banks, it's all basically private and it's all run by very few people. So if you run the, the way the financial system has, has landed at the moment is if you run that system, you run the world. And so if you can turn the screws on that system, then, then, then you can control other people. But when you eliminate that system, eliminate everybody, even as controlled as it was, and eliminate everybody, in, then you've got the ability and the power to recreate the next system and that's what they're doing. They're bankrupting the world on purpose so that they gain absolute control, which they, which they don't have enough control of in their stupid heads at the moment. They have absolute control of this new system that they're about to introduce. And AI plays a heavy part in it. And then a the basic universal income plays a heavy part in it. Um, and then when we eliminate cash, then that is, uh, that is absolute slavery system. Unless you've been, and that's, unless you have this stupid vaccine and this stupid vaccination certificate and jump through a number of other hoops and you're not going to get any welfare, you're not going to be travel anywhere, you're not going to be able to pay for anything. They have absolute control to just turn you off and on and and that's their end game. People don't understand how evil some people can be. But these these are these are power hungry psychopaths. These are these people have got as much money as they could ever spend. They could buy a thousand mega yachts and fill them full of caviar and Rolexes. That this is—they're not playing a money game. They're playing a power game. They like the power that comes with money, but they don't, they're not about the money. It's about power, and they're competing against each other to an extent, and they're competing for us. And they lick their lips when they look at the the the, the fact that they're going to control food, water, health, movement, finance, absolutely everything. And so, they think they're born into it. They think they're special. They think that they they that they have, they should be making decisions for you and your family. That you're theirs, and it, they're absolutely drunk. Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. These people are not like you and me. They're not worried about the police coming to the door. They're not worried about losing their homes. They're not worried about their kids being taken away. They own the jails. They own the police. They own the world. They make the rules. They do whatever the fuck they want, and they're doing it. Would you say the influence, therefore, is more corporate? There would be corporations behind this rather than governments. Well, they're one and the same. I mean, it's, 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 you cannot simplify this in, in a very basic conversation. But in, in a sense, you, you can get a, 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 good, a good snapshot of it, a, reality, a, a real snapshot of it. And corporations and the governments are one and the same. And so the governments are basically just the, the puppets of, of the corporations. And, 
And the, and, and the corporations are run by certain individuals who've either been born into power from multi, multi generations or have come across some very large money very quickly. And so that that's a melding pot. And 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 the gov so the government is basically just the the orchestration, the puppet show, the, the the Truman Show. They come onto the television, tell us a whole load of crap about what they what we think that we've elected them to do and what's going on and it's none of it's true and then they go back and answer the corporations so the the government does the public interface but the string pullers behind the scenes are different the people may say well the government runs us and we are the, go well, the government is headed by our president our prime minister as the case may be but you're saying there is a hidden hand behind all of that public. Oh, absolutely. Blaming blaming the politicians for this, for anything, is, is like blaming the newsreader for the news. They don't make any of the decisions. And if they do, then they're being they're, they're playing themselves and they're in, in on another in on another game that they're lying to us about anyway. And so this is they they've got a whole they they go and live this whole world and serve a whole lot of people and play a whole game and then come onto the television and just talk absolute bullshit. And then go back and play another whole game again, and we buy it. It's, this, it's not them. It's not our country. You've mentioned a corporate influence, corporations pulling strings. Can you give us a clearer idea of who you think those people are, those key players? Or you, if you don't know, that's fine. But I, it may be a matter you're still researching or investigating. Well, there's there's certain corporations out there, and again, it's very um, it's very difficult to to nail it in one small interview, but. Um, there's very there's, there's a few corporations out there that are enormous, way bigger than anybody realizes. They own there's, there's umbrella companies that own some very 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 large and getting bigger and bigger and bigger because they, they buy out the competition. Um, and so, it's 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 those guys. It's the banks. Um, a lot of the governments of the world aren't are, are basically corporations in themselves, and so um, they've been stealing money off the taxpayers, but stealing money. And going to debt, what looks like debt at the same time, and and so that's been a massive orchestration. So the governments of the world and their, and their private forces that represent them are businesses in themselves. And, and when you look at sort of FBI's and CIA's and um, Marines and the way that the, the, the defence or the or the protective services or whatever the word is in America is sectioned off and represent different interests and people, then then that then they're, they're private corporations, and so. It's anything from certain individuals to corporations that have got very, very large, to very old money, to governments themselves who are just facades, facades. But we let it happen. We, we, what, we let individuals get way too rich, we let corporations get way too much power, and we gave up way too much of our privacy to, to governments who aren't equipped to handle it and, and they, they sold themselves out or, or were being sold out at the same time, which is why they, we saw all these crappy terror laws and I mean this this orchestration to this point has been happening for at least 40 years here in Australia from the Whitlam government it, it's it's all a puppet show it's all an orchestration happened right before our very eyes we've only got ourselves to blame but it's not too late